All right, guys, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club plus side stories. Now, we did trust and understanding. Let's move on to respect. It looks like Natsuki is coming into the picture, so let us do it. Make sure it's recording. Yep, it is. Right now. Let's do it. It's been several weeks since the club has officially started. I'm drinking water now because I want to cut back on the soda. So there are initial setbacks. The three club members so far, Monica, Siori, and Yuri, have increased their collective bond within the club. Siori has partaken in some of Yuri's high fantasy literature. High fantasy. What are they smoking weed? No, I'm just kidding. And all three of them, led by Siori, have taken interest in poetry. On a day like any other, the three find themselves suddenly interrupted by the club room door opening, and it walks in a girl none of them has seen before. There's Natsuki. Hi. Sari tugs slightly at Monica's sleeve. Yuri shifts in her seat and buries her eyes in her book. Are you here for the literature club? Yeah. Yay, that's great. Thanks for stopping by. It's kind of a small club still, so, so it's really exciting to see new faces. Yeah, come and sit down somewhere. You can sit next to my desk. Siori prances over to her desk and presses her palms onto it. Oh, and Yuri can make you some tea. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Yuri looks up at Siori in protest for having drawn attention to her. Natsuki silently glances between everyone then sits down next to Siori. Monica follows by sitting nearby. The sudden gathering prompts Yuri to stand up, deciding that standing in the corner and making tea doesn't sound so bad after all. Okay, then how about we all introduce ourselves? Okay. Well, I'm Monica. I'm the one who started the club. I was originally in the debate club, but I really wanted to do something I felt more passionate about, if that makes sense. Oh, it makes a lot of sense. So I started the literature club as a way for people to express themselves through writing or reading or whatever other kind of literature. You know, I figured it was your club. You have that vibe. <laughs> I have what vibe? Oh, you know, like, never mind. I'm not gonna judge people I just met like that. Very adult like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sayori again. She's making that face again. She's like. What'd you say, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I always judge people so hard. Oh, no, you don't, Siri. Yes, she does. Here's that pan voice carries across the room. Natsuki giggles. I'm Sayori. I just like learning about everyone and making friends. Oh, and I also like poetry. Oh, yeah? Very adult-like of you. <laughs> I'm an adult. The sound of Yuri's electric kettle steaming up fills the room. Oh, that's Yuri. Siri lowers her voice. She's kind of shy, but she's really nice and super smart. She likes big fancy books and tea, and I love her. Well, I guess that leaves me then. I'm Natsuki. I like listening to music and hanging out downtown and stuff. My favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry. Oh. Yeah, we couldn't really tell, you know, your hair color being pink and all that. Like, I, I guess we couldn't really tell. Ooh, let's get ice cream. My favorite fa flavor is probably cookie dough or maybe chocolate. It's cookie dough. And Monica's is probably, probably vanilla. What the heck? I take way too many online quizzes. The ice cream ones are always accurate. What's Yuri's favorite? Natsuki shrugs. Probably green tea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I have no idea for Yuri. Still. It's pretty chill here. Do you just like hang out or do you actually do club stuff? Ah, well, we do club stuff too. It just hasn't been very structured yet since we only have like three members. So we kind of just loosely spend our time doing the stuff we like. But I keep thinking it's about time we start with, like, some more structured club activities. It's been a while by now since I started the club, so yeah. Well, with that being said, what kind of literature are you into, Znatsky? Anything you'd like the club to get into? Ah, uh, well, I guess I'm literature. Well, I like manga. Manga? Hey, why'd you say it like that? Hey, <laughs> I want to meet read manga in the club. Wait, hold on a second. That sounds so great. Like after all I've been like after all I've been doing all this, um Yuri returns to the desk with a tray of teacups, which he sets out on an empty desk. After all of 
the deep and immersive reading I've been doing, I wouldn't mind doing something a little more simple. Manga isn't simple. If you think that, you just don't understand the nuance. Uh, I didn't mean simple like that. Well, anyway, putting manga aside, is there any kind of literature that you're interested in? Well, not really. In that case, have you considered the anime club? Are you serious? I'm not gonna join the anime club. It's full of weird guys. Oh, you mean weeboos? Come on, is it that big of a deal? Manga is literature, right? Um, I mean, I guess if you consider the literal definition of literature, then technically, I get it. Look, I'll do whatever club activities you want. Can I please just join? I won't bother anyone. If I could just like keep my manga here and hang out after school, I'll do literally whatever you want me to do. That's fine, right? Yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, thank you. You're the best. I have most of it crammed into my locker, so I'm gonna start getting it, okay? Natsuki stands up. Need some help? Nah, I got it. I don't want you to see my locker. <laughs> if you say so, but there's no way it's worse than mine. I hope we never find out then. Natsuki exits the clubroom, leaving everyone in silence, save for the sound of Yuri sipping her tea. Ugh, I'm such a pushover. Hey, it's not that bad. Natsuki seems like a lot of fun. Maybe, but I mean... She has, like, no actual interest in literature, you know? And that's normally fine, but she said she would participate in club activities like it's some kind of obligation. Her tea is going to get cold. Yeah! Wait, that's not related. Well, I think everyone deserves a chance. Especially if we can bring her happiness. Besides, maybe she'll take a liking to literature. Are you sure you just don't want to read her manga, Sayori? Hey, who do you think I am? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I just feel really uneasy about it. Do you have any opinion, Yuri? Not particularly. She said she wasn't going to bother anyone. That includes me, so... Does that mean I bother you? No, you're a pleasure to be around. <laughs> I was just fishing for a compliment. I know. But still... I really think we should give her a chance. Yeah, alright. But I really am going to start enforcing club activities. I'm willing to cooperate. Suddenly three of them hear a thump against the door. What was that? Sari stands up and walks over the door then opens it. Yeah, thank you. Carrying three boxes of what is presumably manga. Natsuki grunts and wobbles inside before slowly bending over and dropping the stack on the floor as gently as she can. That's quite a collection. Sari giggles in excitement. While catching her breath, Natsuki replies. There's still one more box. I could put them away. Myself. I know how to organize them. Monica anxiously glances between Sayori and Yuri. Is this really okay for the club? Maybe it's what she needs to really kick the club into gear before everyone gets too complacent. It seems like things are finally going to start get, going to start getting more serious. Yeah. Fade to black. Metallica. The next club meeting, Monica is the first to arrive. But ever since Asuki joined, she feels a lot less relaxed. Why am I so nervous? Monica Pace is trying to figure out her feelings. Asuki said she wasn't going to bother anyone, so why does it feel like the atmosphere has changed so much? While well, Monica thinks the club door opens, revealing Natsuki carrying a box. Monica forces a smile as Natsuki makes her way to the closet. Natsuki forces one in return. Need help? No, I got it. Monica awkwardly tries to start some kind of conversation with Pails. Curious, she she peeks into the closet where Natsuki is stashing all of her manga. Once dull school supplies, the, the shelves are now vibrant with bright colors and cute looking artwork. You know, the top shelf is pretty empty. Maybe we could keep it there? I can't reach up there. That would be so inconvenient. Yeah, but Monica sighs. The teachers are going to ask what all this manga is doing in here, and I had to tell them it's for the literature club. So? Monica backs off and slumps through the desk. With this kind of tension, it feels like the relaxed atmosphere accumulated over the past few weeks is being sucked right out of the room. Good afternoon! Siri spins into the club room. Oh, I see someone's in a good mood. Yeah! Because I have this! Sonica branches a cookie wrapped in plastic. I found some money, got a cookie. Ooh, that's so pretty. Siri so tries over the closet. Colorful shelves catch her eye. Which one do I start with? Well, you can start by giving me a bite of that cookie. No way! I saved up all my luck to find that money. If you want entry into my kingdom, you need to pay the tax, peasant. Boo. 
defeats Aria and Rapture Cookie and breaks off a piece for Natsuki, then so Yuri silently walks into the club room. Monica glances at her with pleading eyes. Yuri returns a quick nod of understanding. Well, everyone's here now, despite the club only having one more person than before, it somehow feels twice as lively. Okay, so I think today we should go over some potential club activities and see which ones we want to do first. We have four members now, so it'd be great if we found some stuff to do as a group. Does that sound good to everyone? I agree. Okay, so I have some ideas of my own, but I want to hear your ideas too. Well, I've been having a lot of fun learning about everyone else's interests. Maybe we can give each person a day to share their favorite kind of literature with everyone else. Well, maybe. Something tells me that Monica glanced at Yuri Natsuki, who both are very unwilling to even consider each other's interests. Maybe we can try to come up with something that everyone can equally enjoy? Or e enjoy equally? You know, like we all vote on a book to read or something like that. I think we should all collectively try to expand our interests rather than just stick to the things we're familiar with. Why does it feel like I'm being targeted here? Natsuki, didn't you say that you would go along with whatever the club wanted to do? But yeah, but does it make it okay for you to ignore everyone else's preferences? I'd like to say your suggestion. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but... Hmm. Monica's voice trails off. Although she let Natsuki join the club, Monica finds it incredibly difficult to relent to her demands. If Natsuki doesn't respect the club, why should Monica have to yield to Natsuki's opinion on anything? Natsuki, are you sure that you don't have any other literature interests that you could share with the club? I swear I don't mind if you keep your manga in here. I, I just... Monica, Natsuki cuts Monica off by suddenly standing up. Well, it's obvious I'm not wanted here, so I'm just going to leave. But I really would have appreciated you being more upfront about it. Okay, I think you're jumping to conclusions here, but you're free to do whatever you want. Natsuki shoots Monica a quick glare before walking straight out of the room. Oh no. Sari so runs after her, leaving just Monica and Yuri. For the second time today, Monica slumps down into a desk. Why am I such a jerk? No, she's a jerk. She's just making me feel this way. Monica looks up at Yuri, seeking affirmation. Yuri looks away. She probably just went around looking for the smallest club she could find so that she doesn't have to participate. How does she expect me to give her respect when she has no respect for the club? Am I wrong, Yuri? I'm not... I'm not good at these things. Monica sighs. Me neither. I just have no idea what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I feel like it's not wrong to enforce the club vision. You know, like, people should join because they want to express their passion for literature, or at least develop it. Or maybe she's not a good fit for the club after all. Monica sits in silence, afraid to accept her tentative conclusion. Yuri looks tense, but she doesn't seem to want to avoid it, want to add anything. You can... Sorry. You can go back to reading. I know this doesn't concern you. It does. It does? How? Well... I just can't comfortably read in an atmosphere where the piece has been disturbed. Oh, well, great. I'm just ruining the whole club then. That's not an accurate conclusion to make. I know. I'm sorry. Just kind of voicing my frustration and I guess guilt. It's like my frustration wants to blame her, but my guilt wants to blame me. Ah, uh, why is it? Why is it the hardest to be rational during the times you need it the most? I don't think you're being irrational. I think Natsuki is. She has no authority to walk in here and make demands of the club. Your club. Something as ridiculous as manga has no place here. The fact that you're even sending, storing it for her should make her completely indebted to you. Well, you're right, but I don't know. Isn't it kind of harsh to say things like it's ridiculous and it has no place here? Do you not feel the same way? You've been doing everything you can to avoid association, associating the club with it. So I assumed you felt the same way about it. Again, this beautiful music. That's not true. Well, calling her confrontations with you with Natsuki, a realization starts to set in. Hmm. You may be right. I mean, if it was anything besides manga, would I really be acting like this? Maybe I've just been convincing myself that it has nothing to do with the manga. I'm really upset that I would let myself do that. At the side, Monica walks over to the She finds herself staring at the colorful shelves. It's just, this really wasn't what I had in mind for a club about literature. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Monica starts defending her position once again. It's a complicated issue that Monica had failed to consider before now. Where is the line even drawn of what's considered literature? 
lost in thought, she reaches into one of the larger boxes that pulls out a volume, inspecting for inspecting it for no particular reason. The cover feature features four girls striking cute and exaggerated poses, all dressed in short skirts. Yeah, I mean, amused by the absurdity of the cover, Monica opens the book. Oh, she's right in the manga. So before I end this and go to part two, OMG. OMG. Okay, who's responsible for creating a Twitter account for Monica? I think it's hilarious, but for God's sake, don't tell Paula. Ha ha ha. I would get 404 in a microsecond. Are you just relaying her tweets manually, or did you code some kind of pass-through layer to automate it? Based on the contents of the tweets, e.g. not screaming for help, I assume they're coming from the control simulation? So there's Natsuki. Okay. So I'm assuming that we unlocked another photo, which is a background. Nope, that was it. Strawberry peppermint. Okay, it's just that. So I will see you guys in part two.